also, I just want to uh, take you guys on a tour of the Delaware Route 9, leaving Newcastle. The Delaware Route 9 sort of ends at one of the uh, an interesting towns because it's got a lot of uh, Civil War and Revolutionary War uh, period buildings. And uh, it was one of the sites of uh, the earliest uh, colonization of the state of Delaware. Uh, William Penn uh, landed there on his way to uh, the Pennsylvania um, colony. And uh, here we are sort of between Newcastle and Delaware City. Uh, we're heading uh, towards the Delaware City Refinery, which is one of two very large refineries on the road uh, on the Delaware River. The other one, of course, being Marcus Hook. And yeah, here we go. And you can sort of see the refinery off to your left. You have a lot of uh, storage containers and, and tanks. And uh, you don't actually get to see uh, the refinery itself from the road. The best way to see the refinery itself is, uh, well, there's a little bit to the right. Uh, the best way to see uh, the Delaware City refinery is to see it from the Delaware River. Um, at this stoplight, uh, and I kind of turn towards Delaware City itself, uh, the main street on Delaware is called uh, Clinton. And that should be coming up any moment now. Um, that's where you, if you wanted to go to Fort Delaware, catch the ferry to Fort Delaware, you'd head down Clinton, park at the Battery Park there, and uh, get, hop on the ferry, uh, which runs every summer, uh, between that and uh, Pea Patch Island, which is where Fort Delaware is. And so, yeah, here is Clinton Street. And when you go past Clinton Street, uh, you come up onto the uh, Reedy Point Bridge, which uh, just opened this weekend after being closed for maybe two years. And so, yeah, here we are heading up the Reedy Point Bridge and over the uh, Delaware Canal. And when you get over the bridge, you can see the Hope Creek, um, Hope Creek Nuclear Power Station just, just left the frame to the left. And to the right, you can see uh, the Reedy Point wetland. Uh, this is all the Augustan track, Augustan Wilderness Reedy Point track, uh, which is actually a very large uh, well, wetland reserve between this Bombay Hook, Prime Hook, and um, a few other um, state parks. Uh, a lot of the uh, marshland in Delaware is protected. Uh, which, uh, you know, and uh, a lot of duck hunters here. And now we're going through uh, Port Penn, which is the last little village uh, on the on this road until you get to the big city of Dover. And uh, so, yeah, and then here we are, uh, another nice little boat launch directly opposite the uh, power station. And um, really lovely little place here. Um, the breeze coming off of the river was, was really quite refreshing on this 80 degree day, a uh, slightly muggy 80 degree day that we were. A lot of farmland, a lot of marshland. Um, definitely seen a lot of dead rise boats coming down here, and a lot of working boats. Uh, people working the Delaware Bay, and people working, you know, heading out from uh, Delaware to the Chesapeake. Um, it's, it's really impressive uh, how much. Uh, you know, how much waterman culture uh, has survived here uh, here in, in Delaware and in, on the eastern shore of Maryland. Um, it's, still a, it's still a really rural place, despite the fact that uh, we have, uh, you know, every single major bank in our state, and it's a banking state. You know, it's pretty, it's banking and farming, and uh, also, of course, the defense industry. Uh, we actually make, uh, here in the great state of Delaware, we make uh, spacesuits, too. Um, so, yeah, so Odessa, to the right here, uh, has a couple of great uh, restaurants, and uh, one being Cantwell's Tavern, which I can't suggest enough. Um, Mondays is uh, Half Price Burger Day, if you make this drive on a Monday. 
Uh, and it's also really impressive because it is a uh, main street that is absolutely littered with uh, pre-war um, houses and uh, just really great uh, brick construction. As you can sort of see from the clouds streaking by on this long straightaway here, uh, it was pretty windy today. Um, mile, about 20 mile an hour winds uh, out of the west. They're supposed to be clocking from the south later, but it didn't happen on this trip. Um, and yeah, this, uh, hopefully I'll be able to do some more videos like this of some of the other scenic drives here in Delaware. Um, I've got uh, this, uh, uh, this dash cam and I'm thinking about maybe getting a GoPro and and uh, so I can get a couple of more angles uh, that I can cut between on the uh, in subsequent videos. But I just wanted to show you guys this one while I while I have it. Uh, coming up here, uh, we're going to see uh, probably the most interesting thing that happens in this video is uh, when we go through one of these little uh, tree-lined uh, corridors. Um, a condor, uh, or actually not a condor, a, a buzzard of some type, um, flies in front of the camera for a few moments. Uh, we scared him off of his launch, which was a, a raccoon. And um, this uh, big grain elevator to our right. A lot of those. A lot of people growing corn. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's the end of spring here, May 1st, when we took this drive. And uh, probably in the next few weeks, most of these uh, most of these fields will be planted to corn. I saw a few planted to wheat, and uh, yep, there's the bird. And uh, the uh, but it's a yeah, it's an impressively rural place here in Delaware, and uh, it's probably going to stay that way because there's just not enough. Um, there's just not a, not a good enough uh, concentration of industry down here to support many more people than, uh, than there already are. Unless, of course, um, the military built up and Dover gets even bigger. Um, but, but it, once again, you know, really, how many people do you need to support an uh, Air Force base? And, you know, most of the people on the Air Force base barely ever leave. And uh, that was the turn that we made uh, off of the 9 onto the 6 uh, and headed back towards State Route 1 um, to head back home. Um, wasn't really quite sure how much time I had on the, um, the, um, the dash cam. I probably could have done the whole of Route 9 on this trip, but uh, I just uh, was getting a little antsy at this point. And uh, coming up here was a sort of interesting thing. We drove down this little road to look at what was going to be a foreclosure on our right. And, uh, yep, it definitely was a foreclosure. And that sign that just flew past on the left, uh, this guy was saying, the number one source of noise pollution in the state of Delaware are the rumble strips. And uh, that uh, kids here in Lower Slower Delaware get into fatal uh, head-on collisions playing um, rumble strip chicken, uh, which just seems like a terrible idea <laughs> all around. And uh, here we are about to get back on to uh, Highway 1 after driving uh, through a few uh, more rural roads here. And uh, you can tell, tell we're in Delaware. <laughs> um, Coming up on our right, I believe we have the state prison. Yep, there was a state prison um, about a month or two ago. There was um, a hostage situation there, where uh, the prisoners uh, took host took hostage of uh, the guards and had a multi-day standoff. Um, I don't think anyone lost their lives on that that day, but I think people came close. Uh, which was always a shame, uh, and uh, and here we are. We're about to get on Route One and head back home. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, have a great day. Take care.